But what I want to do real quick is just go over to this side and this is where a lot of your menu items exist. So right now we're just in the home area and that's what you see right here in the center. Um, now you can also do things like chat with Otter AI, which is down here. And I'll tell you what's really interesting about this is, you know, we've done things on like chat GPT and all of that, and it acts very much in the same way. But I think one of the things that is that you'll utilize the most is that if you if you are using Otter pretty consistently, you're going to want to go and look for things in your notes. So let's say you have a meeting and the meeting was an hour long and, you know, a week later you're trying to remember something from that meeting. Yeah. Um, OK, so if we want to, what we can do is with the Otter AI chat, we could say something like um, on October 22nd, I had a summary of a meeting with our silver sponsor, Bloom. Can you remind me what that was about? And I'll hit enter. And then it will actually sift through the conversations that you have and then kind of go through and remind you of what that was about. And then so he, the thing is, too, you know, once you have certain things that are listed out by Otter, then what you could do is, you know, like let's take number five. You discuss the possibility of Bloom participating in a breakout session, which they seemed interested in. OK, so maybe we say, um, could you? Give me some suggestions about what Bloom could present on in the area of educational technology. Okay, so it, it comes up with some some different things that maybe they could do. Uh, so this is kind of where it's pairing up both the the conversations that you've had and the meetings that have taken place and taking that information and summarizing it for you and then adding that element of of like a uh, chat gpt or a gemini and allowing you to explore and get answers from it in a very similar fashion so you can you can kind of pair the two together and uh, utilize them in one space, which is really nice. Not that you can't still, you know, go out to those and use them as well. Um, but I just like that Otter is already thinking about, you know, being able to do those things in house without having to navigate to another place. And it already has the insights from your conversations that have taken place. So it'll have a, 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 a lot of the context will already be there for certain things that you're wanting to ask it or get information about um, or new ideas, right? So um, so that's the Otter AI chat. Um, and then if you click on my conversations, this is actually where all of the different things that have taken place will get stored. So you'll see the conversations that have been started here. Um, it looks very similar to the home page. Uh, it, you know, you can you can kind of scroll down or you can search for things too if you know, you know, like if I type in Bloom, I can get it get there a little faster. Like once I have a bunch of stuff, um, and and the folders actually come in really handy for that too, uh, to be able to organize things. Um, if you want to look at all the conversations that take place. Um, this this would include like your conversations and then could include uh, shared with you as well. The conversations that are shared. Um, the apps part, this is where you're going to do a lot of your integration. So if you have Slack, you can add that. Um, I haven't done a ton with these. Uh, I have used Slack a little bit in the past, but to me, the ones that stand out the most and are probably the most universally used are going to be like your Zoom, right? So Zoom for those of the um, many, many business um, like our work, uh, my cooperative uses Zoom. Some people do. Um, you'll have your Google, which you can see mine is already added. And it's just as simple as clicking add 
and then you'll just go to your your um, account and sign in and then it will ask if it can have permission to look at those events so then it can see them and that's how you're going to get that calendar view where you have over here and it's going to be able to read some of those things um, so i have both my uh, both of my google which has some different things on it like our vr stuff on it and then i have our microsoft one which that's going to be more of like our um, professional meetings or you know meetings that that we have uh or like with jeremy and i for our channel that's where that's going to be and that's where i can access the teams meetings um and so it's just a matter of syncing them up you add them in here uh, i will say one thing that you should uh, keep an eye out for is that with the microsoft if you have and probably google too but if you're at a school and you have microsoft or google there it's likely that you're going to have to have an administrator approve the app to be able to access the information i know with the microsoft teams part of it uh i, I had to have an admin approve this so that i could get it to integrate with my calendar so just something to be aware of um, as you as you take a look at that if you're running into a snag where it says you know you need admin permission or whatever that's you'll just have to reach out to whoever is in control of your your stuff at your uh, business or at your school um in the more section this is where you can access share with me um i don't have any share with me but like i know jeremy probably would because i've shared some with him uh in the past so this is where they would get stored uh, you also have a trash area where this is where deleted things go. Uh, so like if you have a conversation and you go over here, oh, I'm not going to mess with our live one, but let's say that I go here and I'm going to delete this. And then I can go over to my trash and there now it exists. And so there, if you do something on accident, you can click on it and then you could restore it. Or you could go ahead and delete it forever if you, you know, kind of want to keep things organized and just get it out of the way um, for good. Then you can do that too. Um, then it, uh, down a little further, you have uh, channels, so you can create channels for others to access, and um, you can create workspaces for these. Um, and so you can name a channel, and then let's say once you have the channel like this general here this is like kind of if you want to think of it as a shared workspace where you can talk about things so you know if jeremy and i had this general one maybe what i do is i actually will rename this uh integrate this workspace and this is where jeremy and i could kind of keep our um ideas together and it looks like we can't have any spaces there so or no excla exclamation mark perhaps yeah okay. okay so then the members of this right um i would maybe have i wouldn't have i'm not going to remove that but let's say that someone's in there that i don't need in there i can remove them um, i can switch the owner if i want to um, but this is going to be like our, our workspace. Um, you can also, if you click the bulk select, you can choose different things that are in your or, uh, your spaces that you could, you could pull in. So if you have like documents and stuff like that, you can pull them into your workspace. Um, you can import different things. We can start recording together. Uh, and then we can also, put a meeting URL in here. So a lot of what you can do with the, from the home area of Otter, you could do within this workspace as well. And then you have an area where both Jeremy and I can work together and modify things in here and add things as we want to. So those are channels. You can create a bunch of channels that, you know, make sense for you. That to me with the with that little pound sign and stuff, that's very similar to what Slack does um, with the channels and stuff like that. So if you're used to that and you're looking for integrating Slack with this, 
if you're already using it, I think it's a great way to do it. Um, and then you can, you know, kind of use the bo both of them together. There. Um, direct messages, pretty straightforward. Um, this is just a space where you can, you know, create messages to somebody. Um, so if I want to pull Jeremy in, right, maybe I just do this one. There we go. Okay. So now, now that I got Jeremy in there, we could talk as well. So this would be similar to like your workspace, but maybe this is just something where we're kind of riffing back and forth. Um, and then, you know, the channels, maybe you have more people in there. Um, so it just kind of depends on how you want to use that. Um, and then the folders, this one here, I created and integrate this folder and you could move stuff into the folder. Um, so if we went to say my conversations and I wanted to put this into my folder, I could do that. And this is where that exists now. So anytime that Jeremy and I have a meeting, if I want to start to, you know, for example, like we have our IT squared conference that's coming up on uh, Thursday and Friday, but leading up to that over the course of the whole year, we have a bunch of meetings. And so we could actually have a folder that has the, uh, that we call IT squared, you know, 2024. And then we would be able to, every time we have a meeting, we would be able to just funnel that into our folder and just keep everything nice and organized there. And so anything that we have from uh, documents, you know, the video recordings, the transcripts, all that stuff could fall within this area right here. <laughs>